you study while training. Um, taking a year out of university to train for Rio, and you now have a first class degree. Um, do you think this has helped with life post rowing as opposed to other people who cannot perhaps study alongside doing some sport at the highest level? I think all that's helped really in one way, which is tolerating pressure. Um, right. Funnily enough, doing uh, one, of, one of the kind of supposedly one of the truisms of, of studying and doing sport to a high level is it makes you super organized. And I was never really that organized. I just was really good under pressure. So when I had a deadline or whatever it was, I could, you know, I could tolerate the, 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 the pressure of the deadline or I could tolerate the sleep loss or, and, and just get stuff done. But I never, not really until finals did I learn to be actually organized about stuff. It's still something I'm learning. But one thing it definitely did teach me was just to be calm under pressure. Um, and when there's too much on your plate, just to, to crack on and focus on what you can control. Brilliant. And do you think other sports could or should do the same as rowing has done for you to accommodate higher education? Or is there, there a reason rowing is an exception? I think rowing, well, rowing is a very traditional sport. A lot of athletes come to rowing through, through university. Fewer now, I think. Uh, you know, talent ID schemes and a focus on clubs has made it the base a bit broader, which is obviously super helpful. And it's just one reason why British rowing is doing quite well. Um, uh, I also think rowing kind of reluctantly accepted that I was doing my degree. And, and, you know, I don't, they, they certainly, I, to be very clear, I was, I think I'm right in saying I was the only person, uh, certainly on the heavyweight men's side during my time in the senior team, who did what I did. Maybe other people did it, did it in a smaller way, or, but, but, you know, essentially, I think, if, I think if they see someone who they definitely know they want and who is pretty unyielding, then that they'll find a way to accommodate them and let them do their degree. But, but you know, I, I don't think they're, they don't exactly encourage people to go and broaden their horizons and study while they do rowing. I think other sports, yeah, for sure. I, I, I like the idea that all sports kind of make it easy for their charges to go and broaden their horizons and, and just prepare for life after sport. In general, I think, but the, you know, the, the directors of these sports don't really have an interest and they just kind of want control. Right.